Hello traders. Today is February 8th, Wednesday. We're going to look at the autopilot trading system just about to begin at 1015. Now before we start, trading is risky. Please don't trade with funds. You cannot afford to lose. Understand there are risks involved with any type of trading that you're doing. All right, so 1015 is when I like to start the autopilot trading system right after the, any type of news events that occur typically at 10 o'clock. That's when economic reports come out. So my recommendation is always to start the software after we have any type of volatility unexpectedly like news events bring about. And I can set that in the back end of the software to start at a specific time. You're also going to notice that as the market is moving, the buy and the sell is continually almost as if it's trying to get filled along with how the price action is moving. And that's good. So we're not just looking for one price and waiting to be filled. Candle by candle, it's updating. The algorithm is updating just as, as it did right now, trying to get filled on every single trade. Now, this video is not edited. It's not sped up at the moment, but I will speed it up as we go through about an hour of trades. And I'm just waiting for the first signal to be filled. Now, this could be a short signal or this could be a long signal. Now, some traders are using this at 930 right as the market opens. I don't really recommend that because there could be a lot of volatility and chaos. So again, I do like to start it when the market comes down a little bit. Now, after we get filled, whether it be on the long side or the short side, what you're going to see is the stops and the targets automatically placed for you. Now, we're looking for, obviously, a profitable trade, a successful trade, but the stop is there to protect you. So this happens to be, in this case, a short trade. And you can see that by one contract being listed in red there. And as the market goes down and sells off, we're making money and the trade is successful up until a certain point of it hitting the target and then we're out of the trade. If the market goes up, now it's going against us and that would be a loss. So you see, as the market starts to head higher, since we sold it, we're losing money. So you can see how the same applies when the market goes up we're making money if we're buyers or if the market goes down and we're sellers, we're making money selling the E-mini S&P and looking forward to the market to fall and we can buy it back cheaper. So you can make money as the market goes down if you're a seller or you can make money as the market goes up if you're a buyer. And the same thing is true if it goes against you, obviously the stops are there to protect you. So it's really important to understand that concept of selling something looking for the price to go down and then reaping the reward by buying it back at a cheaper price. So we could be sellers or we can be buyers. Sometimes I get that question in the emails and it's a concept that I'm, I think that traders, especially the new traders are trying to understand. So you have to be on the right side of the market and as a futures trader, you're leveraged. So be careful. One contract I recommend everyone to start off with Always practice in sim and simulation first and then once you get a little bit used to it and comfortable with the way the autopilot trading system works, you can then go ahead and trade live, even start with the micro contracts. The autopilot works with the micro contracts. So at this point, what I'm going to do is going to speed this up a little bit and we're going to see every single trade that the autopilot has taken today, Wednesday, up until uh, maybe six or seven trades. Really what I'd like to see is about an 800 to to $1,000 profit target. And obviously that doesn't happen every day, but that's my goal for today to see that. And I'm using a 1,000 tick chart, E-mini contract, March contract. So if you're looking at trading the June contract, the September contract, the December out into the future, you can, but always trade the front month of futures uh, because that's the contract with the highest liquidity and that's what we want. I'm going to speed this up here a little bit because I don't want to wait until this trade uh, gets stopped out or if it comes down. I'm going to pause it here when I start to see the trailing stop kick in. Okay, there it is. So here we have a, a situation where the market is going in our favor. And I believe I have this set to about eight ticks to the break even and then trailing stop from that point forward. And that's exactly what you're seeing. The market is going in our favor by a certain amount of ticks. I have it set to eight or nine ticks. And then from that point, we're now protected, protected to a certain degree where if it reverses, it's that's exactly what 
the exit is going to be. It's a winning trade, profitable trade, and it's continuing to move uh, in our favor. And the ultimate goal is 28 ticks, which is a great large profit. You can see there by the uh, the profit making $200. $300, one e-mini contract. This is actually what's happening on the autopilot trading system. And if it turns around and hits 4159.50, then the trade is closed out. If it hits 4156.75, the full target is made. And what it does at that point forward is looks for the next opportunity. Uh, so if all you wanted out of the morning or the first trade or two, this is the first trade, was $200, this has already been hit. If you wanted $300, that's already been made. If you're looking for what I'm trying to do here is $800, $1,000, then we're going to have to trade more, obviously, more trades in order to make that larger profit for the day. Now, trading more isn't always better. You have to remember that trading... Uh, all day long 24 hours a day is not going to be beneficial so really what we're looking for is once you make a specific target whether it be hundred dollars a day five hundred dollars a day a thousand dollars a day stop trading and put it away tomorrow's another day so this is not intended to be 24 hours a day because all you're doing is trading and trading and risk and risk and so on and that's not good so that's not really the purpose of the algo the autopilot trading system all right, let me see what happens here at this point forward with the first trade. And I've already gotten some emails uh, this morning that a lot of traders have already made their profit for the day and, and stopped trading just on this one trade. All right, that being said, $350 that one trade, great. I'm going to let this go. A couple more uh, trades, win, lose, or draw. So this could still turn into a losing day, but the first trade of the day, $350. All right, now looking for the next trade, uh, almost immediately there's an opportunity here to go long or short at where you see that buy stop and sell stop. Now this second trade is now a short. You can see that by the red one contract on the E-mini S&P. And as soon as the market goes in our favor, if it doesn't hit the stop, but if as soon as it goes in our favor, the break even followed by the trailing stop will occur. And I'll put the video then to normal speed and so you can see how this is is working with the break even and trailing stop okay that's the break even the trailing stop is now following the market behind it that's the ultimate goal 4149 if it turns around at 4153 4152.50 who cares I made already two or three hundred dollars on this one trade if it's the full target you can be finished for the day on two trades and this is just for today February 8th uh, on the March contract let's see what happens here looking for okay that's it so that's two trades that's seven hundred dollars now immediately you can see that it's trying to get into the market again another trade now I have to say that if you're taking these trades on this automatic trading system and you've made already seven hundred dollars it's time to stop it's always better to take this money it's only 1030 we're in this about 15 20 minutes from the start of when we began at 1015 this is fantastic now if you lost five or six hundred dollars which could also happen it's again another opportunity for you to stop come back later in a day or tomorrow because you could have a losing uh, two losing trades in a row so that could absolutely happen but at this point uh, we've had two winning trades in a row that's great. I'm going to let this one uh, last third trade play out and see where it goes from here. Now, if you're interested in the autopilot trading system, visit daytradetowin.com. You can get more information. We have videos. We also have the accelerated mentorship class, which includes lifetime software. Now, this last trade being another short trade, this is a good idea if the market continues to go lower and lower to only focus on short trades. So the autopilot trading system is pretty dynamic. You can choose whether just to go long or just to go short. Um, so the last three trades were only short trades. And that may be a, a signal of what's to come for, for the day as far as only taking short opportunities. Now, since the trailing stop has already started to come behind it, if it continues to go up like it did right there, 
you're out of the out of the trade. That's the third trade of the day, seven hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Remember, that does not include commissions or brokerage fees or any type of slippage. But that's a pretty good morning for the first 15, 20 minutes on three trades. Visit daytradetowin.com and I'll see everyone at the next video. If you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets, visit daytradetowin.com. Join the next mentorship class starting later this month and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and we work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.